Hey guys, let's talk about Magic the Gathering boxes. Is it a good investment? Uh, my answer is, unless you can time travel to 10 years ago, then it probably is not. The current sets are always on sale. This sale is from Channel Fireball, and it is a recent sale. Yesterday, actually. I believe it is still going on. They were selling the Modern Masters 2015 boosters for $209. And they used to be only $240, so it wasn't like they were $300. This was from 2015, two years ago. So if you sat on a box two years ago and you bought it for $240, which is, I believe, MSRP, you could have just waited to buy it today for $210. So if you were not going to open the box, you were using the box for investment purposes, or I don't know what, 210 is what you can get for today. Now that doesn't include the shipping, that does not include the fact that you're not Channel Fireball and you cannot get a $210 price on it. It does not include eBay, it does not include PayPal or credit card fees, no. Now let's talk about the other sales and what is quite interesting is most, my friend owns a comic book, not comic book store, it is a video game store highlighting retro video games. That's what he wants to do. He's a big fan of Zelda and Pokemon and Digimon and he's all, the best thing he could get for himself as a birthday gift was a video game store so he could collect and collect which he has done a very good job of. It's a very kick-ass collection of Pokemon games, sealed Pokemon games. Now, he no longer carries magic and I feel like this is the problem many of these stores including Channel Fireball have. They have all of this extra inventory as we're gonna go we're going to talk about the extra inventory they have, what sets are on sale, what sets will always be on sale. We're well, moving on to Commander 2017, which is going to be a good selling product. Then we have Unstable, we have Exlon, we have Exline Journeys or something like that. There's so much product that comes out every year. Oh, and who can forget Iconic Masters and 25th Anniversary Masters. There's just too much stuff. Too much stuff. So when you talk about Fallen Empires box, you can buy one for $130. Gatecraft booster, uh, booster Pack, you can get it for $2, which is not bad. Journey into Nick's Intro Pack, you can get a set of five. That's five Intro Pack decks for 20 bucks. These are very good prices, but I saved the best for last, which are the boxes. One of the crazy crazy things about these sales i see them everywhere everyone is trying to fire sell the older sets like kaladas a for revolt eldritch moon because they want to buy the new stuff they're selling them for below distribution price which for distributors they sell boxes at 76 dollars and 50 cents anything under that price there's no, in shipping, whatever, it's, there's no way that they're making money from it. So they are taking a loss. All right, Commander's Arsenal. This is something that people speculated heavily on. This is something that people have bought out, tried to, trying to spike the price. I'm here to tell you pretty much everything in Commander's Arsenal has been reprinted. For Kalia, check. Uh, that's the most recent one. Even the dice, I think, has been reprinted. And repackaged, which is hilarious, right? They, that, as funny as it sounds, one of the main selling points of this product was the dice, it was unique. Now it's dropped about a hundred dollars. Dragons of Tarkir, a set that many are suggesting is very good. It's so so. You can get a fat pack for thirty dollars. There are seven in stock at this time of this recording. Uh, for Contract reasons, you cannot get this internationally because Channel Fireball is not going to ship. They, they are not allowed. But I guess if they wanted a YouTube channel, they can open the product and send it to you, which is happening very frequently now. I just want you guys to know and not get hosed. If you buy these recent stuff, it's not going to be good. 
And it's not good because Channel Fireball, who has the monopoly over the GPs, do you really think that they don't know what's going on? Why have these sales, right? Arc, Arc Enemy is $40 now. Arc Enemy Trample is $60. You have Battle for Zendikar at $2.49. A lot of these sales, and it gets better. I kind of put the bad sales in the beginning. They are not the only store. Dave and Adams has a huge sale right now, as does uh, Channel Fireball. Always has good sales, and Card Kingdom is meh. I mean, I think that when you have uh, other people taking money from your sale, that kind of makes the price higher because you cannot give the lowest price possible. I don't know what to say, except why, why would you invest in recent magic product and magic recent magic product i'm going to count as rtr gatecrash and now contra tark here is the exception but it's obvious why it's the five fetch lands there's no other reason the whole other set sucks so let's talk about boxes now because that's the in interesting part dragon maze 70 bucks it costs 76.50 to buy from distributor Pretty good. Aldrich Moon, 75 bucks. It costs 70, $76.50 to buy from the distributor. Afer Revolt Bundle, which is actually a fat pack plus one, $27.99. Are you seeing like a trend, right? Like, hey guys, let's buy some Aldrich Moon booster boxes. They actually are losing $1.50 for every Aldrich Moon booster box they sell. And look at that stock number on it 78. 78. That is a lot of Eldritch Moon booster boxes they have in stock. And sometimes, I know Star City Games plays this game where when they post 78, it actually means they have like 780, but they want to create this uh, demand. Oh, hey, this is moving fast. David Adams does that a lot too when I'm trying to buy them out or something, and then I buy them out, and then a day later, they have like twice as much of that something. And it's like, oh man, I gotta buy twice as much now. And then a day later, they have four times as much. And it's like, okay, th this is no longer fun. And lastly, A for Revolt, 75 bucks a box. Born of the Gods, which a lot of people went deep on, 70 bucks. So, how can I explain this uh, in terms that like you guys will get? People telling you to buy boxes, to invest in boxes and cases... I don't know and I do not believe the core, my core tells me, my instinct, my gut instinct tells me the boxes that you can buy today, uh, let's say it's, let's say it's Battle for Zendikar, Gate, Over the Gatewatch, Algic Moon, Shadows Over Innistrad, A for Revolt, Amaket, Hour of Devastation, Kaladesh, those eight, I would not sit on them i would not use the term investment in any sense near them and even beyond that uh dragons of tarkir it's on sale dragon's maze it's on sale i've seen rtr on sale i've seen gate crash way on sale on dave and adams i think it was like 67 dollars at one time if these people are saying hey we paid 76 dollars and 50 cents for it and we're willing to sell it below that price. It doesn't take a math genius to realize what's happening. They are taking a loss. So it doesn't even consider the time someone has to ship it and do all that stuff with it, right? And storage costs and all this stuff. They're willing to say, hey, we are going to take a beating because we want to set this product on fire. Is that a product you want to invest in? Anyway... That's it, guys. Uh, leave me a comment below if you disagree, because I know a lot of you think buying boxes is really smart investment. Let's all invest in boxes, because people are telling us that boxes is the future. Boxes was the past. I have a case of Innistrad sealed. I have half a case of Innistrad open, and free boosted boxes, which Isabel is going to open now. That time, those times have passed, right? They are no longer around. I realized that during RTR. I made a mistake. I bought too much RTR. It never went up. It's still $85 online. 
I bought it for 80, which I thought was an amazing deal at the time. But it turned out that Dave and Adams had it for 80 for the life pretty much the entire time. And now it bumped it to, I think, 85, 90 now. But at the same time, I cannot sell it for 90. I'm not a big chain. I cannot sell an RTR box for 90. I'm going to, even if I sold it for 90, $6 shipping, PayPal fees, $10. Let's say it's $15 total. I would be making $75 on the best case scenario and I would be losing $5. And after doing the work, going to the post office and all of that stuff, just be very careful of what people tell you to do because you have to think for yourself. Do not make decisions based on people telling you investments in boxes. No, absolutely not. And this is the tale. Channel Fireball is not a dummies, right? They know what they're doing. Star City is are not stupid. David Adams is not stupid. If each of them are having a fire sale and losing money for each box to sell to you, think about what's happening in the current system. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye.